But you see it as a possibility if he wants to spend a billion bucks beating this guy, he could do it. Absolutely. Um, somebody tweeted recently that um, actually with the money he spent, he could have given every American a million dollars. I've got it. Let's put it up yeah. on the screen. It, when I read it uh, tonight on social media, it kind of all became clear. Bloomberg spent $500 million on ads, U.S. population $327 million. Uh, don't tell us if you're ahead of us on the math. He could have given each American $1 million and have had lunch money left over. It's an incredible way of putting it. It's an incredible way of putting it. It's true. It's disturbing. It does It does suggest, you know, what we're talking about here, which is there, there's too much money in politics. <laughs> that's... That's phenomenal. That, that line that Brian Williams had there, he said, when I read it tonight on social media, it kind of all <laughs> became clear. And then, and then proceeded to share that math fact. Okay, now I just want to be clear about this clip. Here's what's so amazing about it. So it's Brian Williams, uh, illustrious war journalist, Brian Williams. The fact that he even has a job still is amazing. And then uh, Mara Gay, who's on the editorial board of the New York Times. It would be one thing if Brian Williams offhandedly said, geez, Bloomberg, man, he just spent so much money, he could have given everyone like a million dollars and still, you know, gotten whatever. If it was some sort of passive offhand line, that would have been fine, no big deal. But these two knuckleheads, they quadrupled down on it. They read, read the tweet out loud, posted it, right? read it again on the air, said, that's an incredible way of putting it. And then on top of that, the editorial board member of the New York Times, she didn't just move on and say, uh, say, uh, yeah, you spent a lot of money, but she, she said, it's true. <laughs> that fact is most definitely not true. The idea that Bloomberg could give everyone in America a million dollars, when the truth is he could give everyone a dollar and 53 cents. They, they were off by a little bit. That's amazing. Now listen, I, I wouldn't go too hard on these guys. Oh, by the way, the person who wrote that tweet, she's some blue check mark on Twitter who has written for the Washington Post and other magazines, and she has only got a thousand followers. So I don't know how she got a blue check mark. But I'm not gonna go too hard on these three, or even the producers who put that tweet up, who never questioned any of it. I'm not gonna go hard on it because I'm not that great at math, okay? So I'm not, I'd like to think that a red flag would have come up if I ever saw that tweet and thought, oh, like that's probably, if you have 500, it's been 500 million, it's been a million, and you give a, like that probably, like I'd like to think I would have. My point of bringing this up is even if Brian Williams was the greatest newscaster of our generation, it doesn't mean that he's good at anything else. Slater Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe. We got plenty.